Hi everyone, welcome to this week's PE challenge. This week we have two great activities to try out with you guys. I'm gonna show you a game I like to call balloon hockey and I'm also gonna show you a numbers jumping activity. So without further ado, let's show you what those games are. So the first game I'm gonna show you is called balloon hockey. For this game, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a table, preferably a longer table that has a little bit more space. And you're also gonna need a balloon. Now as a substitute for the balloon, you may also use a Ziploc bag if you blow uh, some air into it. So I'll show you how to do that now. So a Ziploc bag, if you blow into it, has a lot of similar properties to that of a balloon because it can be uh, slow descending. So to do this, you need to crease and zip the very top of the bag and just leave a mini opening at the end. Just have that little opening and you're gonna blow into it and then you're gonna close it. So once you close it, it should bounce similar to a balloon. All right, so to play balloon hockey, you need to, to do a couple things. One, you need that big table, like I said, and you're gonna try to blow the ball over the edge of the table. And it just takes two players. So there's gonna be a good player on the opposite side who's gonna try to prevent you from blowing the ball over past their side. So you have to keep your hands behind your back because you can't use your hands and you also can't make contact with your head. The only thing you can use is the wind of your breath. So. Oh, so I got a point there because I went over on their side. Now if you blow it off, then it needs to redo and the other person on their team starts with the ball and they blow it to your side. The game ends when one player scores 21 points. So you notice there's a grid on the ground with a bunch of pieces of paper with different numbers on it. So what the kids have to do is they have to jump from one to two, three, four, five, and so on until they get to 20. Um, and if they jump on the incorrect number, they have to start over again. And there's many different ways you can play this game. It could be an alphabet, you could do A through Z, you could have them do math problems. You could lay it out. So there's all kinds of different ways you can do this. But I'm gonna show you how to go from number one to number 20. This is a good counting activity for kids. So you start at one, hop over to two, keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now hop back to nine, 10, oh, to the diagonal, 11. 12, 13, 14. Now I gotta find my 15. Where's my 15? All the way over there. All right, so big jump. 15, 16, 17, 18, 14. And then finish on 20. Now the other thing you could do is you could make almost like a number line. So I have one to 10, and you could have your kid jump to a number and give them a math problem. So you could say, what is two plus two? So they have to jump on four. What is four plus four? So they have to jump to eight. What is four plus five? They could have to step on nine. Or you could have them start at one and tell them to jump to a number. You could say, what's one plus two? So they'd have to jump to three. Or you could just say, from three, jump to six. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways you can play this game. You could have them do math multiplication problems. You could have them addition, subtraction, whatever level they're at. Um, you could have them count from one to 20. You could make a grid. You could just kind of line them up from one to 10 on the ground. You could even put them in different spots around the house and do it turning into a scavenger hunt. But the bottom line is um, it's just a way to keep your kids active and it's also helping them with math. So if you have any interesting ideas, if you could just comment below what you guys did with your kids and uh, hopefully we can come with some ideas together.